today's the day. We're going to see how hard it is this morning to load these calves up in this trailer. Had a lot of rain last night, so it's probably going to be a little bit wet out here this morning. So, I don't know. I we'll just hope it ain't going to be too bad. Because I'm going to call them up this morning, get them locked up into the little corral panel what we got set up, and get the truck and trailer in there, and we're going to kind of see how it goes. Well, that part was kind of easy. It worked out good this morning. They were in another part of the pasture, so the two calves I need to carry off, they were headed to pack and got them in there by themselves. So now let's see if we can get them in the trailer. Well, it took some doing, but they're finally in there. And of course, Bella knocked my camera over by the time I was trying to get them in there. They, so y'all missed the best part, but we finally had to take that big gate and swing up and make a little chute for them to go in. But once that happened, they kind of hopped on up in there. Now Bella and Elsie's wondering what's going on, but, but there they are. They're finally in there. So now let's see if we can get on the road and take them on to where they need to be.
Well, that's it. The cows have been carried off this morning. Uh, man told me he'd come back in about a couple of weeks. So I can go back and pick them up. And they really weren't that bad to load as I thought they were. Um, got it there this morning. It's a little bit wet out there from that rain we had last night, but at least it won't rain this morning. And I'm used to cows. Normally, when I try to load them up, anything like that, they're usually a little bit afraid of them and they try to run away from me anyhow. And I can run them to where I need them to go to get in a trailer. Well, these knuckleheads kind of wanted to come up to me. As a matter of fact, Betsy's cow, she came up to me this morning, was trying to lick me and everything else in the hand and everything. And so it's kind of hard to load when they wanted to come towards you and not run away from me. So anyway, they got the trailer backed up first thing and I'm glad I bought a wider gate this time. You know, the last gate that, uh, for the crowd panel that I just put up, it was only four feet wide that I had before. That's the one that Elmo destroyed. Well, this time I decided to go ahead and get a six foot wide one. And I'm glad I did and didn't know it at the time, but it worked out really good this morning. When I first backed the trailer up to the chute or to the gate, uh, I had the little slide gate on the back of the trailer open and it's really not that big of a opening for them to get in and out. And they just couldn't quite see where to go. And I got noticing that where the trailer was backed up, the whole swing gate, the whole back of the trailer gate that opens up wide, that actually was all inside the six foot gate that I had. So with this six foot gate opening, I had enough room to back the trailer up in there far enough to swing that wide gate all the way open. And with that wide gate open on the trailer, that actually gave me a little corral, well, not a corral, but like a little chute that they could run in. And so once we got them headed into that chute between the cow panel on the left, and the gate on the right, it kind of focused them in on the trailer being open. And it took a little doing, but I had to pop them on the tail with my hand. And luckily, they didn't kick me. But uh, they popped right on up into the trailer. And, of course, y'all missed all that because Bella, being Bella, she by the time all this took place, she knocked my camera over. And I tell you, I was, thought about setting the camera back up for a minute, but they were so close to getting in that trailer, um, I didn't have a chance to go back and set the camera up. So anyway, they're loaded up, they're carried off. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's a little hard carrying them things off this morning because they were born here and we raised them up from calves and but we fed them and I guess now they're gonna feed us. And that was the whole purpose of starting this anyway. And you can't help but get attached to these animals. And we try not to, the ones we're gonna carry off and have processed, we try not to get too attached to them, but you can't help it. So uh Kind of sad on that part this morning but they had good lives here i mean they eat all they wanted they played with bella and elsie and, and maggie and they had a good life it's kind of sad to see them go but they were here for a purpose and that's what they that's what they're doing there for filling their purpose so anyway i'm gonna shut up got the trailer unhooked it's washed out it's good to go and uh see if i can go find something that's good rest of the day All right, I've got them over here into the corner. Plenty of hay for them to eat. That should keep them occupied for a little while. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can't, since it's kind of pretty today. It's not real cold. Wind's not blowing too bad, but I don't know if y'all can see all the cow bombs out there. There's a bunch of them. I'm gonna see if I can put that drag hair behind this here Coleman. See if I can't smooth that out a little bit while I got a chance.
Well, this is also a time, a good time to check the fence. Just gotta lean in that one. I believe I can get it out though. There we go. Come on, check the fence while I'm spreading the poop. And see if we got any problems with the fence. I hope not, but we're gonna check and see while we're out here. I'm glad I came down and checked my fence today. Got looking, and Elmo's been at it again. And right here at this end, he's pushed up so under the fence again. He's got that pushed pretty close on out of the way though, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move it where it stays under outside now. But he actually broke my fence this time, so I'm gonna have to put some knobs on, plus fix the wire back. But uh, this log here ain't too bad. He ain't pushed it through the fence, but that one right there, it's actually into my wire too. So I'm gonna have to pull it back out too. So. That old big dummy, I swear, I'm gonna have to find him something else to play with, I reckon, cause this is the only spot right here that he messes with, but these big logs, that fence can't stand it when he pushes them against that wire, and they really won't get out, but I don't need my fence shorten out, and uh, not making a good connection, so. Well, let's see if we can get to it, get this put back together again. I believe that's got it fixed again. I just, I guess I'm gonna have to come take these logs out of this pasture. I've been trying to keep from doing that because it's a big, I had to come with a chainsaw and cut them in half and uh, get them moved out. But I was hoping he had quit pushing them against the fence, but apparently he hadn't. <laughs> so it's not a bad fix. It's just aggravating. If we have any more calves, that was a high enough spot that they could actually crawl out from them and they'd be over in my neighbor's field over here or back of her, maybe getting to the strawberry patch. But uh, but that's all it was. I just had to take, I did have to place a knob, he broke my knob. Just had to wire the fence back together, tied it back up. So hopefully, maybe that'll last a few days, but what Elmo, who knows? Decided I'd give old Elsie and Belle a little bit of hay. I think they're a little sad. I think they've already noticed the other calves missing already, so. I know, I know Maggie has. You can already tell with her. She's kind of been whining a little bit today, and well, you can't hear because these airplanes keep flying over. But she's been whining a little bit today, and I'm sure that Elsa and Bella, they know it too. So, but they're okay right now because they're getting the bellies full of hay. So, all right, wind's blowing. It's making my nose run. I think I'm gonna get out of this wind. Bye, Maggie. Bye.
Y'all have a buddy that whole bale of hay up, ain't you? Y'all act like you're hungry or something. Are you hungry? Huh? Oh boy. All right, Elmo, I have fixed the fence again. Now you stay away from them daggone logs down there now. Don't push them back into the fence no more. Talking to you is like talking to a wall. Hey, Daisy, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, Daisy. Oh, good old girl. Yeah. What are you doing? Am I in your way, sir? Sir, am I in your way? I better hurt and get out of here with the side by side. If not, you'll think it's got, you think it's the hay wagon and you'll have me turned over. Your big old head. All right. That should hold you for a little while, at least till supper time anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the original pasture over yonder. Uh -huh. And up over yonder, where all these used to be. Right. And then we got the original pasture with the pond. And then we got the section that used to be the, oh, this used to be the minute field. Uh huh. Then we cut across right there and had this little section right here. It has a minute field for them. And then we got a section in the back that's fenced off where the portion I used to be. Huh. Mm. That way everybody's got their own minute field and everybody's got their own part of the pasture going. Yeah. Cat, if you don't get off my pasture, get up there. Oh, have mercy. Oh, what is it? Come here. Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> Stayed at the barn last night, it was too cold. Kim opened up the door to let her go in the barn. She went right to a little kennel, got in the bed and lay down. Come out of church this morning, gonna let her out, and she was still in there asleep right on. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Y'all want some sausage? Fresh cabbage. Oh, them chickens are going crazy. Oh. <laughs> and that took her a whole leaf out with her. Cabbage and cotter leaves. There should be some healthy chickens. They let in some collards. They like the collards better do the cabbage. Yeah. They're talking about it too. All right, Waddy Occupied, let's check the eggs. Here you go. See how many we got today since it's turned off so cold. They've been slowing down a little bit, but let's see how many they got today. Hey, chicken, chicken, why ain't you eating some collards? Like they're cold. <laughs> That's not too bad. You got some around different places. That's pretty good haul today. As cold as it's been to be in. Down what, 20 something last night? There's our favorite chicken. Come here, chicken little. Come here, chicken little. What are you doing? She's worse than Elmo. She comes running up to you. We got 12 up today. Hey, girl. That's a spoiled chicken right there. She comes running up to you every time we come out here. I started trying to water the other day. She kept trying to peck me on the hand. Peck my boot three or four times. She's the one that was out there talking. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why that chicken there's so friendly. That last group we got, there's been some friendly ones in it, but that there should come running to you. Uh -huh. That was good chicken. Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, they've been fed. I'm ready to get fed now. I'm getting hungry. Hi, right, chicken, sir. Meet you. College. Time to go to bed here in a few minutes. Well, the sun's going down, so I reckon that's going to wrap up another weekend for us here. Got a few things done this weekend. Of course, we got the cows carried off, got all that took care of, and had to go work on the fence a little bit. Got the pasture cleaned up a little bit. There's so many cow bombs out there. It really needed to be drug, and so we got it looking a lot better and got the fence put back together where it must have been pushing the logs over into it again. Had a visit from Justin and Lydia today. They came and ate with us to want to cook on the Blackstone one time. So we had some breakfast for lunch today and that turned out to be pretty good. Enjoyed visiting them a little while. Go update you. I didn't get the dumpster this weekend. I went and tried to get it, but of course everybody else had the same idea I did. Wanted to clean out the barns and stuff. So all the dumpsters had been rented for this weekend. So I do have it on order for next Friday. So hopefully next weekend we'll be able to get in that barn and we'll go ahead and get all that stuff took care of, get that barn cleaned out and get it reorganized. That's gonna be the main goal anyway. And we'll kind of see where it goes from there. But again, we appreciate you for joining us. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors and I reckon we'll see you about next weekend. <laughs> Lulu's trying to get up here on us. Lulu's worrying me. She was trying to climb yeah, up my leg again. Yeah, she was again. trying to climb up our leg because we Lord won't pay her no mind. She's and she like was a little yowling. youngin. She's a little youngin. She wants some attention. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you do it. Ah, oh, you did it. <laughs> oh, that can't get you. She ain't gonna get me. Lord, the other cat's that coming. Poor cat. See? Look, the big cat's coming. <laughs> yeah, there's the other one, I tell Come you here. what. Come out here. Come on, Come on. Come She's still a little skittish, but <laughs> I think she'll be all right. Come on. Come on. Well, Lulu and the big cat are starting to get along a little bit better than they were. Lulu says she's still boss of the house, but oh, there it comes. <laughs> we'll grab it. Well, here's the big cat. <laughs> I don't know how long we're going to be to hold her. But Where there she it? is. She's a big old cat. Yeah, she's not. So she's getting better. She lets you mess with a lot more than she did, but <sighs> she's about to knock me out from my feet right now. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to try to wrap this up again. Again, we appreciate it. And we hope to see you in the next video. Ooh, yeah.